In this video, I'll show you how to use Saholo as a student. First, navigate to saholo.com and click on Login at the top of the page. If this is your first time accessing Saholo, you'll want to click on Forgot Password, type in your student email address, and press Reset Password. This will send a password reset link to your email address, and from there, you can choose a new password to log in with. Otherwise, type in your student email address and your Saholo password. Press login. This is your student dashboard. From here, you can see all of the community service hours that you've submitted for this year, as well as past years. By default, your hours are filtered down to the current school year. On the left-hand side, you'll also be able to see totals. This zero represents the total number of hours that you have submitted this school year, and this zero represents the number of different organizations you've volunteered at this school year. Now let's say you want to submit community service hours. You can either press Submit Community Service Hours here, on the left here, or at the top bar here. When you do so, it'll ask where you volunteered. Places you volunteered recently will show up in this list, but since this is the first time you're using Saholo, you'll have to press Select a Different Organization. Let's say you volunteered at Teen Challenge in San Jose. First, type that in. You'll see here several cards that appear. These are other organizations that are already in the database. Unfortunately, Teen Challenge isn't listed here, so we're going to press Add It. First, it asks for the address and phone number of that organization. Let's copy this organization name and go back and search that on Google. We'll go ahead, click on it, and press Contact Us. Most organization websites on their Contact Us page will have the address and phone number. Now we can go ahead, paste in the address, and paste in the phone number. Now press Save Teen Challenge San Jose. Now that your organization has been set, you'll notify how many hours you volunteered. Let's say we volunteered 10 hours. And then you'll explain description of service. Let's say that we sorted books. Realistically, this description of service should be a little bit more comprehensive and explain what you did while volunteering. Next, you'll put in the contact name and contact email address of the supervisor that oversaw your volunteering. In this case, this would be a person who oversaw the volunteering that you performed at Teen Challenge San Jose. Lastly, you'll want to say the date that you volunteered on. Let's say we volunteered last Saturday. When you choose last Saturday, it'll automatically have the end date match the start date. However, if you volunteered over a span of time, let's say Saturday and Sunday, and you want to submit this as one form, you can just change the date ended to reflect that. Double check this form, and when you're ready to go, press Submit. You'll now see on your dashboard that you have 10 hours of community service at one organization. If you hover over the community service record, you'll see some more volunteering details. Lastly, you'll notice the status icon on the right-hand side. If you hover over it, you'll see it says Awaiting Organization Confirmation. What happens when you submit community service hours is that it sends a confirmation email to your supervisor so that your supervisor can either confirm or reject the hours. If they confirm the hours, that record is then sent to your school, and your school's administrator will apply the final layer of approval. When these hours are fully approved or rejected, you'll notice the status will change from this pending gray refreshing circle to either a green check mark to indicate that they've been accepted or a red X to indicate they've been rejected. Additionally, you'll receive an email notifying you of whatever happens.